Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Look at that! Boy, that is almost it, huh? You can't see, on my screen, I'm looking at these things side by side, and it is uh, pretty darn close. And the game plan on this is I am going to remove this, because we won't need that mechanism anymore, and then lop this thing off right here at the end, because we don't need this. We don't need this to be overhanging. Um, it's just going to get melted. And uh, also, I think if I cut this off, lop it off here, paint all of this under here black, and then go for the off-white sort of icy gray on top, this thing is going to bear a striking resemblance to this thing. So, I bought a universal cup holder, sort of frame, uh, uh, expandable bottle cage system. Uh, this is made by Bell. I think it costs 10 bucks. Here. All right. Like that, and then get a fresh tank of fuel here. There she is. And then that, look at that. That's just gonna bolt right down to that. Okay. What are we gonna use for the business end? Well, I bought this for uh, probably $40 at Home Depot when I was redoing the floors in the shop and I needed a way to dry the concrete out real fast. And this is what I ended up with. It is a, uh, I think they call it the Inferno uh, weed burner. Uh, so it's just a big propane torch. That'll fit in there somehow from the grilling section. A grill igniter. This is the piezoelectric type. So you uh, push on this red button right here, and as you're pushing on it, you're preloading a spring that uh, eventually snaps down and uh, strikes a uh, piece of piezoelectric material, uh, creates a very short high voltage spike, uh, which jumps the gap between a couple of um, igniter, I don't know what you call these. They're not igniters themselves, they're just sort of electrodes. So now, we have freed the wand end of this torch. Uh, we just need to get that thing off. And we can replace uh, all of this bit with something a little bit more manageable. Let's pull the screws out of that. somewhere in here and we'll bend the trigger for the valve down to see if we can pull it from the same position. So that's fine. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's stuck right there, so that's fine. So here's our case. That'll be our enclosure, our trigger, and our trigger return spring, which we won't need if we uh, set this whole thing up correctly. Is uh, we did it gracefully too.
flamethrower innards. Yes! That'll do just fine. So, uh, regular spray paint you buy at the shop. This is some Rust-Oleum Universal uh, Paint and Primer. This will stick to plastic just fine, but if you want to make sure that it's not going to flake, you want to take a scrubby pad like this. Uh, use this to give the plastic a nice scuff. See how I'm, I'm not trying to take a lot of material away, I'm just giving it a little bit of tooth for the paint to grab onto. <laughs> center punch. That's what it looks like. It's got a hardened steel tip uh, ground to a fine point. Let's see if we can focus. Oh, come on. I don't like my tattoos. Alright. Ground to a fine point there. And then inside here it's spring-loaded. So you press down on it and then Eventually, the spring gives way, and you uh, cook chunk down on there with all this, the stored force of the spring, and you uh, make a little divot in your steel. Uh, and that, uh, that divot is somewhere for the tip of your uh, split tip drill to rest so that it doesn't try to walk away on you as you're trying to drill. Works great for flat things, it's essential for round things. Ah, oh, I couldn't have gotten that better if I measured it. Look at that. Look at that. This might be the starting point. Let's see. My copper pipe strap in roughly the same configuration as this. Uh, man, I didn't even have to drill a hole. Look at that. There's this toggle over here. And now we have the fulcrum on this side instead of on this side. So now the front of the gun is here. We'll just put this straight down through the frame and use this as the trigger itself. When you pull back, you get gas.
get these guys squared away. looks like the real thing. Let's see if it does like the real thing. Open the valve in the back. Finger on the igniter. 